it seems like you also search for a unique point to each of these brands. Yeah. Whether it's just unique in your experience with the, the art yeah. or with the tobacco or yeah. with the finished product. There's a unique so point I've, to I've each of these. I've developed over the years a certain blending style. What's unique about it, Nicholas? I, I personally observe different patterns and how things work together. Okay. So it's not, again, something that's all the time. You know, it's not just a set uh, formula per se, but I've noticed different patterns within the blending style of things that work for me. I don't talk about them too much because I don't, I don't give out my secrets, but over the years of just becoming so intimate with these tobaccos, working with them, you know, a lot of people, how do I become a blender? I want to learn about tobacco. And I said, listen, you know, you got to move down to the Dominican, Honduras, Nicaragua and work with tobacco day in and day out. That's really the only way. Um, and I've been fortunate to be able to do that and learn from all of these Cuban, you know, and Nicaraguan cigar masters and, um, you know, really pick up a lot of, of, you know, great things that people have taught me over the years. And what's the one thing they all share in common? They may have different methodologies, but is there a, an overriding? Not to sound cliche, but it is the passion, Tommy. You know, it is. Yeah. You have certain people. You know, they they have a passion and love for the leaf. You and know, do you, listen. That's an overused term, right? Yeah. But if you've lived with them and worked with these people, right? So you see firsthand the sacrifices that they make. Yeah. And so they don't have to tell you that it's passion. Is that, is that what made you connected to them when you saw what people were willing to sacrifice in their lives to bring a product to the market that they, were, that they loved and wanted to share? Definitely, definitely. Learning and also seeing, you know, from one of the first articles that got me into really wanting to become a cigar maker, it was 96, Tom Selleck, cigar aficionado. There was a story about Rolando Reyes in the back, and it described the chickens on the way to the game, and the whole thing, and that experience, and he was up all night, and he was. It was learning, uh, not learning, reviewing the cigars from he that would, day's production. They and, said he would physically inspect every cigar that was made that Yeah, day. yeah, and he would, and he, you know, he loved it. And so then to, you know, move and really see the behind the scenes, more of the non-romantic Things and then really understand what it took, um, you know, to do this and do it right. That just made me want to become a cigar maker even more. But do you feel it's a way that you're able to speak to the world about what's important to you, whether it's through most definitely. spirituality, the art, the actual mechanics of growing tobacco, and fermenting and blending, and each one of these steps you've tried to put your in my opinion, your fingerprint on it as a way of expressing yourself and what's important Most definitely. And, 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 and sharing that with others, whether it's yeah. or just a simple pleasure having a cigar or trying to go further and learn about things you've learned in your travels and in your life. Yeah. And this has been a vehicle for you to share it with people. Most definitely. It's the medium. Well, I know our company and myself personally, we're all blessed and better for having had the chance to work with you all these years. And I'm very grateful that you been able to find the time to want to share it with uh, our friends and family and our customers, Nicholas. And maybe if you got a little bit of time, we could maybe go out to one of the tobacco barns of field and 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 see a little bit firsthand about some of the some of the aspects of bringing this product from from God's earth actually right to our humidor. There's nothing uh, more uh, that I would love to do than do that. That's where I love to be. I appreciate you guys. It's uh, we go back a long way, so it's it's an honor to be working with you. Thanks, Nicholas. Truly. Cheers, Appreciate brother. you. God bless. Uh, yeah.